Hello. In this session, we will look at how you can connect your Linux EC2 instance using the PuTTY tool. Now, PuTTY tool is another option that we can use to connect your um, uh, Linux machine. In the last session, we looked at how you can use the SSH command, the command line tool uh, to connect your Linux machine. And this PuTTY is another option that we have. So generally at an organization level, you will, you will see people using either the SSH command or the PuTTY tool to connect to the machine. Both are very commonly used and it really comes down to your personal preference. What do you like to connect to the machines like I personally like connecting uh, to the Linux machine using the SSH command. Uh, you will see me using the SSH very often uh, compared to the PuTTY tool. But just so you know, this is another option that we have that we can use to uh, connect to your Linux machine. Once again, before we start off with this session, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Now to get started with this, the first thing you'll have to do is you'll need to download the PuTTY tool on your machine. So here we have the server. So this, this is the same server that we had used in the last session. We are going to connect to the same server. So we have the same IP, we have the same pen file, everything remains the same. It's just that we are using a different tool to connect to the server. So here on your local machine, assuming you are on Windows, the first thing you'll have to do is you'll have to download the PuTTY tool. Now to download this, you can go to putty.org. That's the URL. If you go to that URL, this is the page you will see. All right. So we are going to use this PuTTY tool. So click on download PuTTY and uh, you can specify your uh, architecture so in my case it's going to be 64 bit and this is what we are using so we'll download the installer and we'll have to um, uh, run that installer which will install the putty tool for us now um, one important point to remember over here is now with the ssh command we use the pem file to uh, connect to the server with your putty tool the pem file will not work we will need to convert that temp file to a ppk file all right which your putty tool can understand so here my putty tool is installed uh, downloaded now we are going to install that tool so let me open that and just follow those instructions it's a very straightforward installation that you have you just have to follow this instruction so next choose a location where you want this next and then um, again it's a very straightforward installation you have uh, you can just go next 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 and that should install the tool for you all right now in this case it will download it install two things for us one is the putty and we also have this another tool called putty gen all right so here you will see two things so let me search for putty and you will see two things one is the putty and the putty gen now putty is the tool that we use to connect to the server and putty gen is uh, the tool that you use to generate uh, new keys or to convert your keys now, as I was saying, your PuTTY tool does not support your PEM file for the authentication. So we will need to convert that PEM file to a PPK file. Now, to convert your PEM file to a PPK file, we, we can make use of your PuTTY gen. So open up this PuTTY gen tool and this is what you will see. Now, you can use this tool to generate new keys uh, and you can also use this to load an existing uh, uh, key. So we'll click on this load. And then you this will take you you'll have to basically go to the location where your pem file is available now by default this will look for your dot ppk files so you'll have to change this to all files and then you should be able to see your pem file so select the pem file and click on ok and here click on save private key all right so this will ask you like do you want to save this without a passphrase uh, i'm okay with that so click on yes and then choose where you want to save this okay so let's have i'll save this over here itself so let's give it a name all right so that's the name i'm gonna use and this is gonna save it as a ppk file click on save and this will um, uh, convert your pem file to a ppk file rather you know it will create a new file for us which will have the dot ppk extension so if i go to the downloads so here you can see there is my uh, ppk file and that's the pem file so if you're using putty tool you will need to make sure you have the ppk file this is one way uh, the other way is if you're 100 percent sure that you won't be using the ssh command and you will be using only the ppk file uh, you can also directly download this ppk file from your uh, um, ec2 service i'll be showing that uh, later on but you have that option also now that we have our ppk file you can go ahead and close this uh, putty gen so that's the usage of your putty gen and now we will open up your putty to connect to the server so let's open up your uh, putty tool over here and we start filling in the details so first thing it will ask you is for the host name or the ip address so in our case 
here this is the ip address so we're using the public ip i'll give the ip address it's going to be over ssh which is port 22 and then click on this plus symbol next to your ssh click on that and here you should be able to see auth now here click on the plus symbol next to auth all right and here you should be able to see this credentials click on credentials and here you will see this private key file for authentication click on browse and go to the location where your ppk file is available so in my case this is the ppk file open that up and click on open all right so here this will ask you like uh, since we are connecting to the server using putty tool for the first time this will ask like do you want to con continue connecting so click on accept and this will prompt you for the username again uh, depending on the AMI that you are using, the default username would be ec2-user. Alright, so here I will give ec2-user, hit enter and if everything is proper like your firewalls, the security group rules and all, you should be connected to the server. So again, this is the private IP 172.31.92.119. This is the private IP. And that's how you can connect to your Linux machine using the PuTTY tool. So the same thing we did using the SSH command. So both can be used. You can either use the SSH command or you can use the PuTTY tool. It's really up to you. But both options are available which can be used to connect to your Linux EC2 instances. All right. So this is how you can connect to your Linux machines in the upcoming sessions. Uh, uh, I will show you how you can use these machines, what you can do with these machines. But uh, that's all for this session. Thank you. Once again, before you leave, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you like the video, leave a like and please share the video.